dispatch. Um, oh, perfect. I, I'm at the third party site and I was just, uh, I read the notes, but there's no uh, other pickup numbers. I was wondering if there's any other information I can give them here because they couldn't find uh, what they needed. All right, guys, we're at the house in the office looking at some loads here. Watching a little uh, Aquaman over there. The wife and the kids are at practice. So I've been uh, Kings at basketball and Ella's at acting class. Well, I've been looking at the low board all day today. I had a load earlier that was supposed to leave at 3 o'clock tonight, but I hesitated to take it. It was a load. Let's see, they still have one up here. It was a load going from Ontario to Vegas, uh, back to Vegas. It was a round trip. It was at um, 235 for 1100 and some change. Um, base rate was at like $1.90. And um, the rate bef with fuel surcharge was sitting at 235. I was watching another one that I just left. I was um, downloading some video. I was trying to record it, but I was downloading video so I couldn't use my camera. That leaves at 2 o'clock tonight on Tuesday. I was going to get... I was watching it ever since it was down to like 180. It made it all the way up to uh, 190 and somebody took it. Um, the only reason I didn't take it at 190 because I'm trying to get $2 a mile at least, but people are hurting each other by not waiting at least $2, 201 and then get it, but hey, I guess that rate was good for him. So there's one here Wednesday, the same exact uh, run to Ontario. It's on Wednesday. The other ones were on Tuesday. That's tomorrow for me, um, but uh, this one's stuck at 190 here, so I don't know if... Uh, AI saw that and took it down or what but uh, I'm going to sit here and wait or I can do some uh, let's see there's a Phoenix Arizona run here 318 miles uh, for two dollars and two cent uh, they're giving a hundred and thirty six eighty five for fuel surcharge uh, the base rate mile um, um, price is a dollar uh, fifty nine a mile, so that'd be five oh seven would be my profit if I only put one hundred thirty six uh, eighty five in my tank, which I will put at least about two hundred two fifty in my tank to make sure I get home safe and don't have to worry about running out of fuel, um, or I can do. Uh, 61 miles in town and make a $224 profit because um, I already got fuel in my car and I'm not I'm only you know, 60 miles it's, they, you know it's 30 bucks in fuel no more than 60 bucks in fuel um, there's another one here for six dollars a mile for uh, oh less miles 59 miles uh, for a $355 profit. So I'll make $200 less than driving all the way to Phoenix. Even though I will have the opportunity to make more money getting a load coming back home. Um, so that's where I'm at right now, guys. I am watching this low board like a hawk. Most likely, I'm going to try to get this one for uh, Wednesday. If it's still up here, if somebody doesn't take it. But I'm hoping um, as the night goes on, I can snag that for uh, at least $2 a mile. I'll be happy with that. Even though right now we'll take it $700, $600 profit, mm, you know, 500 mile run for $600 profit, you know, $1.50 a mile, I don't know. We are doing payroll right now, so I could, uh, you know, pay myself forty-eight, 
50 cent a mile and give the company a dollar a mile and look at it that way but I'm trying to make max profit especially in this low market but I don't know guys unless the AI keeps taking them down I've been watching it right now I'm um, for my search engine I'm looking at the recommended um, searches so they 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 remember my previous searches through the whole year and they're shooting me things that I've you know Las Vegas Phoenix Las Vegas California so they're shooting me loads um, and seeing if I'll take them but I think this AI I don't know how you guys feel about uh, let me turn this around here I guess you can see my ugly mug there we go oh, I should have took my little head thing off but I didn't how do you guys feel about uh, I think AI is running all this when it comes to the booking and the uh, what needs to be moved um, so I'm pretty sure they put in a max and a uh, start point for this and when it hits close to that max it depends on like if it's 10 hours away AI will probably take it down and put it back up I don't know is uh, AI hurting Amazon load board and contracts or is it uh, is it not hurting it I don't know but um I don't know guys I wonder what you guys think leave comments down there let me know what you think Do you um, I would look up some container loads, but I'm not too sure. I tried to do some research on that, and uh, I didn't find anything that was uh, too helpful. I didn't really dig that deep. Um, but um, I know you need a certain type of uh, endorsement to go onto the shipping yard. But do you need any endorsements to um, actually pull containers, or can you just pull containers? Let me know, because uh, Amazon do got some decent prices with uh, containers on here moving around um, that I wouldn't mind doing, but hey. All right, guys, look like we have a load here. So we're picking up here in Vegas. We're going over to uh, Fontana and uh fontana back to uh las vegas henderson nevada we picked up we're going uh 472 miles four stops is a solo uh 53 foot trailer that's provided um it looks like here uh the base rate per mile is a dollar 88 per mile uh, with fuel surcharge, we're looking at uh, $231 a mile. Um, it looks like here for the first stop, they're giving us $104.95 for fuel surcharge. Base rate is um, $458.98 uh, for a grand total of $563.93. And then when we get there, it looks like we're going to drop off in Fontana and pick up maybe around the corner. I don't know. Um, so we probably drop off the load, pick up an empty, go around the corner, drop off that empty and pick up the load that's going to bring us back home. They're giving us $3.78 for the fuel surcharge. Base rate $16.50. $0.54, which gives us a total of $20.32 um, for the load heading back to Vegas from Fontana. Um, they're giving us $93.87 for fuel surcharge. Base rate $4, uh, $410.50. And, um, with a grand total of five hundred four forty one, um, add all that together, our total estimated pay is going to be uh, two dollars and thirty one cents per mile, which will give us one thousand and eighty eight dollars and sixty six cents. That will bring us back home. Oh. Um, 
The only bad thing, because I, I don't know if you guys seen the video from yesterday, another low popped up like this and it went for uh, 234, or at least AI took it down and put it back up. Uh, the only thing that was what made me hesitant into getting it is that I pick up Tuesday at uh, 7 in the morning. So tomorrow, 7.30, I need to be there. Well, tomorrow for me, Tuesday at 7.30 in the morning. Um, go drop that stuff off, and then they want me to do it. Be back here in Vegas uh, Wednesday at 16.30. So it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it's 4 o'clock, around 4.30 the next day on Wednesday. Um, so they're going to have, if this was a quick turnaround, $1,000 for the day, which after fuel, I'm probably be looking at uh, 400 miles. I'll probably put $300 in fuel in there. So 8, 9, 10, so like $700 um, we, we'd probably be looking at for a uh, grand total profit, um, somewhere around there. Uh, but they're gonna have my truck for two days, basically. So that was if, I was like, oh, if this was a quick turnaround, that'd be, that'd be awesome. But uh, we have to see how Fontana go because they could, uh, hopefully they don't cancel. But when I get to this Fontana, yard they could have um this load ready oh wow this is a heavy load it's a live load too mm, see you didn't that's why i tried to wait on the other one to see but it went so fast i don't know if ai took it down or not but it looks like it's gonna be a 30k uh, it's gonna be a live load so i know dang well that's not going to be ready. So I'm going to have to pick up an empty, go do my 10-hour, uh, go here, get live loaded, because they probably close at a certain time, and then um, head back to Vegas. Let's see here. Well, it says preloaded trailer. Is that dropping off a preloaded? So, yeah. So that's the bad thing about that. But it's only a couple of stops instead of, uh, oh, so the base rate, if we put $200 in fuel in here, the base rate is $8, $886.06 um, if we only put $200 in fuel in here, which I'm going to end up putting three uh, just to make it home safe uh, without worrying about fuel. Um, and I already have leftover death death but um that's the bad thing guys i don't know maybe hopefully in california i can do like a little in town look like they got some in town stuff here from chino to blooming for uh, 300 dollars. maybe i can uh snag that when i get there and that's only that's not bad and they're only using my truck for two hours when is this for Wednesday? Huh. That probably can work. So I'm gonna try to do an in town load and see if we can uh see if we can make some max out our profits. I don't know guys. But uh yeah. We're gonna hit the road in the morning and uh today's episode is uh doing this load board um contract. Alright guys, let's get to it. Yeah, buddy, we're out here getting to it. If this is your first time or second time here at the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. If you're part of the fam, you already know what to do. Please leave a comment down there. I don't like, uh, I feel like I'm just talking to myself in this camera. I love when you guys leave a comment down there, so please leave a comment. But uh, let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. Yep. Well, we're getting to it. We're uh, doing our pre-trip. You know how important those pre-trips are. Since the last pre-trip, I just don't uh, check the tires anymore and the lights. I make sure I check the sliding tandems and uh, make sure everything's on there. 
pay a little bit more attention to everything. Don't want to get no DOT violations. And more importantly than that, I want to make sure I make it home safe. And everybody gets home safe. But we are heading to Fontana, guys. We're doing a. Uh, dang, these things are nice. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna give me one of these one day. We're going out to Fontana. We're doing a load off the load board. Um, we can go over numbers and stuff like that when we start moving. But they got me a little bit. They got your boy. If you uh, seen the previous video, I think I went over the numbers. Or maybe I might just put it all together. So I did that video last night. Um, this one came with a little twist. inspection everything is looking good let's make our way to Fontana there's no uh, internet service or any type of service here at all we in the yard everything starts to work when you get closer to the gate or out of the gate it's so weird how these facility Amazon is based off of Everything mobile, but they don't have any good mobile service. Looks like we're uh, 15,000 pounds. Heavier than usual. We're used to being like 4,600, 5,000, stuff like that. But uh, we're on the 15,000 wow mark. Let's get checked out here. Alright. We're all checked out. We're going to do a straight dive to Fontana. Now, As I was booking this, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm going to show what I recorded last night of me actually booking the load and my concerns and the other opportunities that were on the board that I thought I missed out on. Just because I saw that rate, I saw uh, 235 a mile. I got this one for two, 231 a mile, so four cents. Uh, cheaper than the previous one that I saw popped up there even though I think AI um, I think AI put it up on there at its max and then hurry up because it, right when I was about to book it usually it's on there just for a couple more seconds or you know at least five minutes ten minutes uh, but right when I was about to book it I looked at everything and then I pressed uh, because it asks, you know, you press book and then it says, are you sure you want the book? And you can press yes, I'm sure, or cancel. And I press cancel. And right when I press cancel, the thing was gone. Like, I was, so I was going to read over it some more. Just because my concerns were, uh, one, it's a li third party and it's a live load, which that wasn't the biggest concern. The biggest concern is that I was looking for a quick turnaround. I can do 400, 500 miles in a day. So I wanted to drive out there, do the 200 and whatever miles, drop off, pick up, do whatever, and head straight back to Vegas and be home today. Um, but it looks like they want me to stay overnight. They want me to go down there right now. I'm dropping off. 
Uh, picking up an empty, going to a third party site, and they want me to drop the empty off and wait overnight to get loaded. Um, you know, I don't think, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to say I don't think 200 or two dollars and 30 something cent a miles worth overnight. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. You guys let me know down there in the comment what you guys think about this load is this a trick that I get tricked is this something I shouldn't have taken or am I just being a crybaby I don't know let me know we made it we're all checked in this is a huge facility I should have asked where the 800's at because that's went the wrong way it's like uh, two different sections to this yard Wish they had signs up or wish the gate would uh, direct you in the right way. But it's whatever. We made it. We're going to pick up this empty. Probably hit up a TA or try to make it over to, uh, to where we're picking up tomorrow. At. Hopefully we can drop the trailer and they can be loading it while we're waiting. But I'll keep y'all updated. It sure is pretty out. I love that mountain right there. We're out here in good old Fontana. I had to stretch those legs. We're gonna do a little pre check. Yeah, we'll get my gloves. Make sure everything's good. Tires look good. I don't hear any air leaks. We got that seal on there we didn't get it, Rob. Everything's looking good. Nothing looks loose. So we're going to drop this, pick up our empty, and head over to the live load. We're gonna do our first walk before I start hooking up to it to make sure all the it should be normal stuff is normal. Wires look good, tires look good because I think this is the one we're gonna be driving back to Vegas. So it is empty. Got those low boards, hopefully, that doesn't mean anything even though uh Amazon loads are usually not that heavy so alright everything looks good we're gonna pick up the electrical and we're gonna check for air leaks and get out of here let's make it happen So we're heading five miles 
down the road here. One, two, three, yeah, four. So on the tour, they have it as five stops, but it's really four. Because the pickup, two is here, three, we're dropping off, and then they're loading it up, and we're picking it up and heading to Vegas. Let me make sure that's right. Where are we at? That's good. Oh, that's the exit right there. Huh, interesting. Let's see if we can make this happen. We gotta do like a, a Yui, the exit. So we're heading five miles down the road here. We're at stop one. Yeah, so we're gonna go drop off this empty trailer and then pick it back up at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, they got us from eight to 10.30, so. Um, we're a little early. I was, I was supposed to drop it off until two o'clock, 2.30. Yeah, we're only heading right down the street, so hey. hopefully, uh, that'd be awesome if they say, oh yeah, we can load you right now, and they load me up, and I can start heading back, oh, excuse me, and I can start heading back to Vegas. Yeah, buddy, we're almost there. We're uh, right down the street from uh, the No Pay May, the May trucking yard I used to go to. Um, when I was with my trainer, he had a dedicated route. So we, we drove from uh, Arizona to Fontana all the time and did stops around Fontana and pick up and back to Arizona. Um, but we always come to the same yard when we take our 10 hour break out here same for in Arizona but um, yeah I thought that was cool we're about 1.9 miles away from where we're heading to we got a student driver on the behind is a swift student driver it says student on the uh, truck and they're pulling a swift a swift trailer and I guess it says swift on the front too so I guess Swift is training some drivers. Come on over, Snyder. You're welcome. Uh, but yeah, we're making it happen. A lot of warehouses are going up everywhere. I wonder if that's a good thing for the industry brand, huh? Warehouses here, warehouses there. Looks like we got to turn right here, too. So this is cool. This is like a... Uh, I don't want to say my neck of the woods, but I'm very familiar with uh, this neck of the woods here in Fontana. I even, I think, uh, I even picked up from this yard right here on the right um, that we're looking at right here. I picked up before over there. I forgot, we dropped off the trailer and picked up. And I remember because uh, we had an air leak in our glad hands. And I can hear it. Sounded like a snake in my trainer. He can hear it too, but he didn't say nothing because uh, he wanted to see what I would do. And uh, I passed off his little test he put me through. But yeah, I was like, "Do you hear that?" And he was like, "No, what is it?" And I was like, "I don't know. It's like an air leak." And I pulled over. We we're just like pulling out of the yard, and uh, I pulled over, and sure enough. It was an air leak and he showed me how to swap out the rubber grommets. And always have rubber grommets on you and all that good stuff. So I make sure I always have rubber grommets. Or I can't even say that. Grommets on me. Um, at least a couple. I gotta order some more. I think I got two more for the trailer part, but not for my glide hands. So I'm gonna order some more of those and keep 
those in my truck. Ooh, we got a line for somebody up here. I don't think uh, that's for us. Are they just taking their tea, waiting for their appointment time? Good old Expo. Get that Expo trailer in here. Yep, so we're making our way, guys. Let's get there and get it going. Alright, we are here, it looks like. It's a little narrow, narrow place to get into. Fence back there. All right. I'm assuming because I see an Amazon trailer ahead to our left is going to be in that next yard. We'll see 13, 13203. 13203 is back there. We are here. I'm going to pull up. I don't know where the hell I'm going. This box truck guy can go around me. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing. So let's go see what we gotta do. Alright, I'm assuming it's over here somewhere. Let's see if we can get it in. In navigation. Hey, how's it going? I'm here to drop off an empty for Amazon and get loaded, I guess, tomorrow. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. I'm here to drop off an empty for Amazon and get so loaded. Yeah, let's see here. Sorry. Do you need a load ID or what? You need that, I need the uh, information you don't have. No, everything from Amazon is on is digital. Um, let me see. Uh, let me go on here. That's my book. Okay. There we go. That's the, that's the guy. Hello. How are you doing? These are the numbers I got. I don't know which one you need. Pickup number. My delivery, let's see. We got shipping reference number right there. You just let me know. I can hit RLC up too if there's a, another cert number that you need. Oh, is this no, no more information? Yep, yeah, that's it. That's all. That's in my notes. Sorry. That's all in my notes. Let me go back here. Um, sorry. Let's see if they give me a BOL. No, that's from earlier. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Uh, let me see. Check in. Let me see if something pops up. Um. Yeah, that's all they gave me. The load ID number here. Alright. All right. Give me a second. Alrighty. Alright, so we put in a call request for OC to see if we can get any other uh, appointment numbers. There's a lot of numbers in our notes. There we go, ROC right here. Let's see what they said. Stay on the line after the call for a two-question survey. Thank you. Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. No, I can't. It cut out. I'm sorry. Oh, I am sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
apologize for that. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is Amazon. I'm calling for the uh, viewer that's sending with the season cast number five, T is in Tom, and then number four. Am I talking with the driver or dispatch? Uh, I'm driver and dispatch. Um, oh, perfect. And what? I'm at the third party site and I was just, I uh, read the notes, but there's no uh, other pickup numbers. I was wondering if there's any other information I can give them here because they couldn't find uh, what they needed. Okay, so uh, let's make sure we've got that correct. So we are at the, the US BIC, correct? And correct. what was the other things that they needed? Okay. Uh, like a pickup number? Oh, wait, let's see. He's, he's coming to me. Let's see okay. if he found it. I'm sorry. Oh no, you can stop it. Hey. Pick up, I don't drop the trailer off? No, ready, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, the permit is uh, 11. 8 or 11? Uh, no, 11. Okay, because it said drop off and then pick up tomorrow, so I'll just. The uh, apartment is 11. Now you pick up uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow All right. Afternoon. Okay. Yeah. I'll be here. Yeah. All right. Okay. So no worries. Is there, is there anything else I can help on today as well? Uh, no. That'd be all. Oh, perfect. Just let you know there might be a survey at the end of the call, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Alright, you as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Sorry, down to record your sir. Alright, well, look like we're sleeping with the trailer on. It says 8 a.m pick up on my scheduling but they're telling me to come back at one o'clock so ah. Ah. I don't know how I feel about that so I guess I'm gonna try to f go to a pilot that's not too far from here so can't be too mad um, and Call it a day, I guess. Let's see, there's a couple of pilots over here. I know one's smaller than the other. And they're both... They're both, uh... Here we go over here. That's what I want to go to. Alright, let's see how that pilot is. Get out of here. I'll see you guys on the flip side. We're heading back to the location. We got us a good 20 hour sleep. No. <laughs> we went on a little walk, a little hike. Not a hike, but a little three mile walk yesterday while we were sitting here waiting. Got us a salad. Now we're heading back over to this pickup location. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they take us in on our on our side. <clears throat> sorry, on our books it says be there by eight o'clock. Yesterday they told me to come back by noon, but there's no way I'm doing that because I was supposed to be home around three o'clock, four o'clock, and I want to be home. So. I'm not giving them my truck for 32 hours for a thousand dollars. And that's with fuel surcharge. Like I said, I got duped. I should have got at least about 15 for this one. I took it too soon. I saw that $23 a mile. Or $23. I saw that two, $2.30, 31 a mile and got excited. supposed to drop the trailer off yesterday but they told me to come back with the trailer so hopefully they pack that trailer and I'll drop this trailer and just swap out and I'll just park this one over here on the 
left somewhere. I'm gonna check in and we're gonna see what they say. All right, let's go see. Mickey. Picking up and dropping off the trailer. Did you park it just trying to park the trailer over there? Okay. Okay. Alright, thanks, buddy. Alright. Thank you. Alright, so I was right. I wish I could have dropped this trailer here yesterday. I probably should have dropped the trailer here yesterday. So much more space to actually do it. So now we're gonna try our best to get it in. They're loading this trailer right here, 5017 for me, which is cool. So they want me to get it in between there. And this is what we're working with. So I'm gonna try, we're gonna see. skies another day trucking baby that's all we can pray for hope for another day of trucking and keep it keep on trucking keep it moving that's our trailer it's the trailer we dropped off it wasn't too bad my approach was pretty good I just swung that way and bagged on up have to watch out for a little homie right here give them enough room to inject their trailer and it's pretty good so you just let's go inside and see what's going on all right we made it out alive it took about a good hour to get us loaded i thought it was going to be a problem because we didn't drop the trailer off yesterday I don't know why they didn't let us. There was other trailers dropped off there when I just got there, but I guess that was confusing. I can be a confusing person sometimes. Um, but yeah, they let me drop my trailer off today and pick up the, the loaded trailer. So that's cool. It was halfway loaded when I got there at uh, like 7.40. So that was good. Um, so I don't feel too bad. You know, we got a little going home, even though I think I could have made at least a good uh, seven, eight hundred bucks going back home, and I could have at least got seven to eight coming down here. Um, 
instead of taking this round trip. But I know next time I'm at the look, and if I feel uncomfortable about it, I'm just gonna have to uh, reject the load, even if it hurts my score. Um, you know that kind of sucks the way that works. Um, but I should have been more patient right when he came on there. A lot of things I should have done, which I, you know, this is a learning experience. I'm learning from it now. I know uh, next time. Anything overnight, I need maximum pay. Like this thing should have been three dollars a mile, maybe even four dollars a mile, just because uh, your time of sitting there. this right. Your time sitting there and waiting. isn't really accounted for so but yeah we're on the road we're moving we're grooving we're getting to it we I might try to do another load when I get home I just got to be home before Friday so it just gives me a day so I'm gonna see if I can do a day run a couple of day runs a couple hundred here and there and uh, make it work but uh, I think I'm in the video here. Uh, I just want to thank everybody who leaves comments down there. I appreciate you guys joining the channel, watching the channel. And if this is your first time, second time, third time coming back to watch the channel, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, until next time, guys, let's make it to Vegas. Peace out.